Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and you need to get ready for some controversy because in this video we're going to be talking about the Ghost in the Shell trailer. Get ready. You guys know this has been kind of a point of some contention amongst just about everybody who's familiar with the Ghost in the Shell franchise and the people talking about this movie and people who have no idea what they're talking about which is always the case on the internet. So I'm going to be talking about all of the controversial things, or at least most of them, the big ones, and just the trailer in general, because I'm a big fan of Ghost in the Shell, and I'm very excited for this movie, and I'm aware of the issues, and we're going to talk about them, not in great detail, but we're going to talk about them a little bit. So make sure you pay attention, and make sure you let me know what you think in the comment section below. Since this is a somewhat touchy subject, please keep your comments cordial. Please be polite, don't be rude to other commenters, or me, or anything like that, because we don't have time for that. Let's all be nice and friendly, okay? Okay, so let's get into it. Overall, I am excited for this movie. I think it looks like it could be good. Let me put it that way. There are some things that do worry me, and we're going to talk about that, but I am very optimistic and hopeful, not only because I really want a live-action Ghost in the Shell movie, but I think they're doing a pretty good job. Now, I know that may not be the uh, consensus of the majority, but I think it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and dive into some of the details. It looks like the story is going to be maybe an altered version, but mostly a mix of the original 95 film, the animated film, and maybe some of the standalone complex. With maybe a hint of a rise. I know we see that outfit in the, in the one trailer, but it, we don't know about the story so much. So here's the thing. People are getting kind of upset, at least some people are getting upset that this looks like another Robocop, Robocop type of movie where uh, the government or some group, some entity, some large corporate type entity, corporate government, whatever, something like that, erases her memory, turns her into this super soldier, and now they're trying to control her and she's trying to fight back and that that's not the story of Motoko Kusanagi. What do you want from me? They did not save your life. They stole it. They created me, but they cannot control me. We don't know that that's the case. Some of these things that they're saying do sound like that, but remember, these, these are teasers and trailers. They're meant to get people to want to see the movie, and that storyline, as overplayed as and cliche as it is, that's the kind of thing people relate to in terms of, we've seen movies like that before, I have an idea of what this is going to be about, I'll go see the movie. It may not be as cut and dry as some people are making it out to be. We don't know. We do know that in the fiction of Ghost in the Shell, she has had memory issues. Some more severe, some less. They might just be playing on that. We do know that she has a synthetic body. She has been recreated or rebuilt. And she does work for the government. This guy talking to her saying that they don't control, or she, her saying they don't control me, and him saying that they've lied to you, they might just be cutting it together to sound like a more recognizable, common story. It may not be anywhere near that. So let's just be optimistic. It may not be bad. It might be a lot closer to the original story uh, than, than a lot of people are saying. So I think it could be okay. She might just be saying to this guy who's saying, they're trying to control you, and she might just be saying, they're not controlling me. They rebuilt me, because obviously she didn't do it herself, but they don't control me. It might be nothing like the RoboCop reboot. We don't know. There's not enough, but people are going off the handle, complaining about all this stuff. It might be perfectly fine. Let's just give it some time. We've gotten two trailers. People need to chill. This is only going to get worse. It gets way more controversial going on, so... Yeah, you know, I think it'll be okay, but <laughs> let's let's give it an opportunity to be bad before we crucify it. Some people are complaining about the visuals. It's too stylized. It's too this. It's too that. You know what? It's not a 1995 animated film. It's a 2017 real-life CGI film. It's going to look a little bit different. I think they're doing a pretty good job. I mean, everything from, like, the, the geisha scene or geisha scene to the the somewhat retro looking cars with the holographic billboards and things the somewhat uh, blade runner esque future esque type of setting i mean high tech low quality of life type setting i think it's 
I think it's okay. I mean, it can't be exactly what it used to be. And I think they did a pretty good job of bringing that to a contemporary look of the same thing. So I think it looks good. The visuals are good. And some of the scenes are almost exactly from the various, whether it's the series or the movie. So it, they're definitely at least paying attention to what they're doing. As far as the trailers go, who knows? It's not not unheard of to have a trailer be vastly different from the final product. But we'll see. The scene where she's using the cloak and she's fighting the guy in the watershed. That's, or whatever it is. That's almost exactly what it was. Uh, she's going to be fighting some kind of tank again, it looks like. Or have at least a similar scene. That's almost exactly what it was. The geisha scene's almost exactly what it was. They're at least drawing from these different things. Again, we don't know what the story's going to be, so it may not draw from everything properly. But I think it'll be okay. I think... Here's what I'm guessing. It looks to me like they're mixing the Puppet Master storyline a little bit with the Laughing Man storyline. That's just a hunch based on the few things we've seen. I don't know. Um, we'll see, obviously. But that's what it looks like to me, and I think that could be cool. I don't know why people are freaking out that it's not exactly accurate. I mean, we've already got three storylines for Ghost in the Shell that none of them are directly or exactly the same, canonically speaking. So... Even if this one's a little bit different, as long as it isn't contrary, or at least maybe even disrespectful to the source material, I don't see the problem. Nothing that comes to the big screen in live action is exactly like the anime or like the cartoon or like the comics or anything. These things always change. It's always not only different for... Uh, technical reasons or practical reasons but you're talking about a different group of people creating a story based on the same thing so it's going to come it's going to be presented differently and as long as it pays homage or in respect and handles it properly i think it'll be okay so again i'm being optimistic here i think things are looking pretty good so far now the biggest problem that people are having with this movie so far is the casting and it's being very politicized. Not necessarily like the American presidential election politicized, but it's talking about this whole whitewashing thing and Hollywood's doing this and these people think that and we're going to stay out of all of that. I'm going to talk about what we know and what we've been given in the trailer. Okay? So, yes, Scarlett Johansson is playing the major. Scarlett Johansson is white. For all intents and purposes, I'm going to use general terms, guys. I'm not going to be super PC because... I don't know what her actual ancestry is, and I don't know... It doesn't matter, okay? You get the idea, okay? Scarlett Johansson's a white lady. She's playing a character from an anime from Japan. So we have a lot of people going out and saying, how can you have a white lady playing a character from an anime who's clearly Japanese because she's a character in an anime? Well, first of all, we don't know that, and I'll get to that in a second. We don't know that... Uh, the major is Japanese. In fact, there's evidence to the contrary. But here's the other thing people are doing that it's, it's driving me nuts that this is a thing. People are saying, it can't be Scarlett Johansson, it has to be somebody else. And then they list all of these Chinese actresses. You can't say that the major is Japanese and then suggest that Chinese actresses are better than American ones. It's just as wrong. You're saying that any Asian will do as long as it's not a white person? That's not accurate either. You can't do that. Pick, say a Japanese actress if you want to. That makes sense. But don't just pick anybody who's kind of close as long as it's not white. That's, that's just silly. That's just as bad. Chinese people and Japanese people are not the same. Goodness, some people are going a little bit overboard with these with these ideas. Okay, so let's get back to it. Let's talk about the major. What do we know about her? We know that it might be uh, her brain is basically the only thing that's human left. Everything else is synthetic. So that's all subject to some conversation. We're going to get to that in a second. But her brain might be Japanese. We don't even know that. We know that she goes by the name Motoko Kusanagi, but we also know that that's not her real name. She doesn't know what her real name is, and she does have memory issues. There's some things to indicate that her mother might be Japanese. We don't know anything about her father, so for all we know, she's at best half Japanese. And we don't even know that. It's not clear. Okay? So maybe at best half Japanese, but we're not sure about that. And that's definitely not true from the, I think it was in the original one, that that was not even part of the storyline, the 1995 film. 
I'm not the biggest expert on Ghost in the Shell. I'm not one of those people who stalks the Reddit pages and 4chan pages and things like that. What we do know is that she's drawn almost always to have very Anglo features. She's got a very narrow face, a long pointy chin, pointy nose, big round blue eyes, generally not traits of a Japanese woman. That's just how it is. So maybe she's not Japanese in the anime. Now you could make the argument, anime characters are often drawn with Anglo features. Not really, some are, some aren't. Even if that's the case, it doesn't matter because that's not the one we're talking about. You can't presume to know what the character is supposed to be unless it's been told. If you don't know what the person is, then you just don't know. Stop making assumptions and complaining about things when people, other people who do make the decisions are telling you it's a different way. People need to relax. Calm down. It might be okay. Now, here's the complaint I do have with Scarlett Johansson. She doesn't really look right for the role. She might do fine. She can act well enough. She hasn't... People always say, oh, she's just Black Widow, she doesn't act well. She's done other roles and she's been okay. But I don't know if she's going to do a good job as the Major. We'll see. There are probably much better choices, but they needed the big name behind the movie. So that's how it goes. You could argue they should have just gone with a Japanese actress because it might be a Japanese character, even though everything points to the uh, opposite. We don't have any big name Japanese actresses in America. Or... At least ones that are known worldwide. I, I don't know. I mean, what do you want to... There's no good solution. There's just... There's no good solution to that. So, there are some Japanese actresses that look like they could definitely play the role. But most people wouldn't know them. There's just no good solution. So, it's a, it's a movie being made in Hollywood with a big Hollywood actress as the main character. I don't understand why that is such a big deal. Why is that surprising? When they made Attack on Titan into a real movie, a live action movie, every character in it was Japanese. The characters are not Japanese in that show, at least most of them. Why is that a problem? I don't get it. I don't get it. People are coming up with problems for no reason. I think that's the thing. People are also complaining about Bato, that character. He doesn't look right. He's too white. First of all, in the anime, there's a lot to suggest that he actually is a white guy. Whether he's European or American, it's not quite clear. It talks about being maybe in the... Uh, he's an ex-military guy, so maybe... Um, the way he talks about it, maybe from the U.S. I tend to think he's more European. Um, yes, they do have Japanese names in some cases. Some of these characters, that tends to be the case in anime. Uh, even when the characters aren't... Um, Sometimes. Again, there's no like rule for this type of thing, but as far as Bato goes, he's a huge guy with white or blonde hair. Those are generally not traits of Japanese guys. There are some, I'm sure, but the standard is not that. So suggesting that he's an American or at least a European makes sense. So having a white guy play him makes sense. He's even in the in the show at one point talked about being a fan of this Russian boxer, so that would suggest European background at least maybe I mean we don't know again but at least it's reasonable to assume that he's a white guy and the casting I think is okay uh, some people are talking about his ocular prosthetics it looks like it's supposed to only in real life it's not gonna look the same as it does in a cartoon because the cartoon or anime first of all if you're one of those people that makes a distinction and then gets mad at other people for not this probably isn't the video for you they're the same thing in an anime, you can get away with things, and it looks better because everything's drawn. Nothing's realistic. In real life, you put little camera lenses on a guy's eyes and say he's got ocular implants. It's going to look a little weird, but they look like they're supposed to. It looks fine. Stop complaining. It's going to be okay. Maybe. Maybe not. But we don't know yet. Another character, Aramaki. I think they cast this guy perfectly. I've always assumed he was Japanese in the show, and they've talked about him working for the government and everything. It seems like he's a Japanese character. I don't know. I don't remember if they explicitly said it, but as far as you can tell, he's Japanese. And they cast a Japanese actor, a very good one. And he looks right. People are complaining about that. He doesn't look right. He doesn't have the crazy hair. That's because he's not a cartoon character anymore. He's a real person, and it looks good. It looks like they made him in, into a realistic character. I don't have any complaints about Aramaki, or Aramaki. People are just complaining to complain. Another one that people are complaining about. We're almost done. Togusa. He is most definitely Japanese in the anime. He's a beat cop working with them, or at least he was a beat cop. 
just a regular kind of family guy, Japanese guy, and nobody's complaining about the actor they chose other than he looks too old. This actor, he's too old. Chin Han, he's too old, he doesn't look like a young Togusa. Chin Han's Singaporean. Singaporeans are not the same as Japanese. But nobody cares about that because he's just, oh, he's an Asian. All the people complaining about the ethnicities of these actors don't actually know what they're talking about. They're just complaining to complain, stating or suggesting or implying that every Asian is okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure, now I can't speak for Asian people in general, but I'm pretty sure that they would disagree with you, that they're not all the same. The people complaining about this, this, this racial or ethnic issue are being more of a problem than the movie is. I guess that's what I'm getting at. There are no problems in this movie. Sometimes movies don't get cast well. Maybe that's the case, but I don't think it's this big issue that it, people are making it out to be. I think it's just really becoming this thing so that people have stuff to write about. People have stuff to talk about. The movie is getting publicity for it. Maybe they plan that. I don't know, but I'm looking forward to the movie, and I think a lot of it looks pretty good. The action scenes look good. The general setting looks good. Looks like the plot might be good. It might be bad. We don't know. That's my other point. We don't know. Sometimes castings look terrible, but then they end up being okay. How many people said Ben Affleck would be a terrible Batman? How many people said Heath Ledger would be a terrible Joker? Those are two of the best performances those guys have done. More, more, more iconic than any other. Stop complaining. Look, be optimistic. Be hopeful. Complain after it's bad, not before. You don't know. So anyway... If you guys want to talk about all of this stuff, let's talk about it in the comment section. Again, be polite, be courteous of everybody else. I want to hear what everyone has to say, and I think it'll be a fun conversation. So let's do that. Let's have the conversation, and then we can talk more once the movie comes out and is either good or bad or something else. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about, obviously, movies and TV shows and video games and action figures and all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that, and in the meantime, Keep collecting.